All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna showcase an incrementer which I just built like 10 minutes ago. Um, essentially, it takes the number and it adds one. So you can see an example right here, uh, but like per se, if we add like one, one you add one, it gives you two. Three you add one, it gives you four, that kind of thing. Um, also, if you want to, you can just turn the carry in off so then it gives you the same number in the input and the output. Um, that's just I think this is just a good feature to have on incrementers just for practical uses. Um, so, you know, that exists too. Um, but yeah, I think there's, functionality wise, there's not a whole lot of showcase. So actually now I'm just gonna move on to like talking about how it works. So if that's not interesting to y'all, then like, I mean, you're welcome to leave. I'm not holding you hostage here. Anyhow, um, so essentially I came, I was kind of looking at some I just like how incrementers work earlier because I was kind of, I needed to use one for something and I was like, you know, this kind of looks funny. So um, I ended up kind of devising this alternative method for incrementing numbers. Um, also, if this has been like done before, I don't know, man, like yell at me in the comments or something. But like, all I'm saying is that like, I, I don't know, man, I just like, I just kind of came up with this. So maybe it's happened before, maybe it hasn't, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm ranting. Um, point is, essentially, I was looking at a number and I'm like, you know, there's actually kind of like a theme to all incremented numbers. And that's that you can split them up into two sections. So you're gonna have your first section, which is just the same, and you're gonna have your second section, which is the inverted version. And the way you determine where these sections are is when the first zero appears in your original unincremented number. Um, and there's actually a pretty simple reason for this. So in binary, um, if you have two ones, then it'll, like, if you plug in, like, two ones into an adder, then it'll, you know, create a zero, and then it'll output a carry one. And so essentially, for all your ones, they're going to turn into zeros and output a carry one, and that carry one is continue or, ugh, is going to continue to propagate upwards until you end your first zero. Um, and then the zero, of course, will just inherit the state of the carried one, but then from here, the carry is entirely resolved, like the, the incrementation. And so the rest of the number is actually just the same. And so essentially, if you can create something that checks if some part of the number is above a, the first zero that appears, it's actually like pretty easy to handle incrementation without having to use like a proper adder or anything. Um, so essentially, this was kind of based off like a cancel carry adder, where you have like a central cancel line that's um, essentially gonna say, like, when we get above a certain point, you're gonna stop using this, which is gonna invert the number, and you're gonna send the number through this double inverter, which is gonna give you the normal value. So essentially, all the things that are below the first zero are gonna be inverted, and all the things above are gonna come out normal. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sign our.